uh, I'm TJ with the Nearly Deads. So right now I am in the studio where we make all of our records. We record every single Nearly Dead song right here. Vocal booth is in there. That's where the magic really happens. We're ready to make a new EP. We're excited. We're ready to have some fun with you guys. I hope you guys are ready for some new music. This is where we do everything. This is where we made every single song we've done, recorded right here in this room, written all the songs, created all the different ideas for everything that we've done as a band. So we felt what like better what better place to do our pledge video than right here in the studio. What we hope to accomplish with the new EP is to give you guys direct access to the creative process and create something really amazing and really epic and powerful and like our most awesome songs ever. Just to show the music industry that like, even though we don't seem like we fit in anywhere, we have people all over the world that get us, that get what we do. Like we've struggled as a band trying to find out where we fit in the industry. And we just want to show them like that we don't need to fit in anywhere because we do. We have these fans everywhere that care about what we do. And we want to give back to you guys directly and have you be a part of the process as well. So we're ready to tour the world. We have so many fans all over that are begging, come tour in our country, come tour in Germany. You know, well, let's go. I'm, we're ready. But that stuff takes, uh, takes time, takes money, it takes a lot of support from a lot of people, and we're just hoping this EP uh, kind of helps us get the people behind us that we need. To me, the new music industry is basically a way of cutting out the middleman and getting our music directly to the fans, giving you guys exactly what you want. Here's what you're gonna get when you pledge. You're going to get a pre-order of our new EP that's not even finished yet. So you're going to actually help us create it. And then when it's finished, you're going to be the first to get it. You're going to be the first to see the new music videos we're creating. You're going to be the first to get the new music. You're going to get an instant download of My Evil Ways. So that's really exciting. And a lot of other really cool stuff. We're going to be doing vinyl. There's all sorts of prizes you can choose from. Signed posters, signed artwork, scrapbooks from our personal collection of ticket stubs and photos and wristbands, like really, really cool stuff that we are really excited to share with you. The best part about playing live rock music is everything. The energy, the crowd, the different types of people you'll get at the shows. I would say the best part is when you're on stage and you see somebody out in the audience that's having a better time than you are, I think that's the best part. Gives you a high like no other. I mean, the energy on stage, the the feedback from the crowd, it's it's the most unbelievable feeling. I love being able to like rock out with Javi and rub elbows with Kevin on stage and headbang with Steve and then like look back at Josh. Like that's my favorite thing is being there with my best friends, doing this all together. It's like a really special moment for me being up there. Growing up, the bands that I love the most that made me want to start a band were like Alkaline Trio, I love something corporate. A lot of country and Mexican music. Mostly Smashing Pumpkins, Muse. Journey and Sticks, like a lot of like 70s rock bands. Less Than Jake and Thursday, those are like the main staple bands for me for sure. I would say most of our funniest moments involve Josh. Um, it's just because he's the butt of every single joke that we have. Cause I feel like I'm always the butt of the joke. He may or may not have gotten into a situation where a pillow was hidden. And I don't really know how much detail I can tell about it, but I know it consisted of me and a pillow and a stranger's house. What, what is my favorite fan moment? Um, probably any time somebody asks, like, anybody asks for me for a picture. Or when fans drive numerous hours out of their way to come and see us play. Having fans all over the world is pretty, pretty amazing experience. Every time we go on tour and we get to stay at the merch table and meet everyone, give hugs, sign autographs, that, I love doing that. I love meeting people face to face. We've had people get like nearly dead tattoos and that's something I never ever thought that like my lyrics, somebody would want that on their body like forever. So that's absolutely incredible. Being in the Nearly Deads uh, means everything to me. They're like my second family. I mean, I spend 
six months out of a year living in a van with them and I love every moment of it. I mean, there are, everyone in it is my family. It means everything, it's a lot. It's uh, just not only has the experience been amazing and fun, but it's also been an amazing growing experience for me. It's taught me to be more business minded, to uh, be more disciplined. It's, uh, it's helped break me out of my social insecurities and be open with strangers and be able to have a conversation with people. Being in the Nearly Deads literally means everything to me and you know hopefully everybody else said the same thing. Um, but I've dedicated so much time and energy into this band and it really means a lot to me. I just want our fans to know that we have their backs and I want to make music that empowers people, that makes them know that there's people out there like them, that we understand each other, that we feel you, that if I can get through what I've been through in my life, anybody can. Everyone's had their own struggles, their own hardships, and we just want to make music that lets people know that you can make it past that, you can survive it. Like if we can, anybody can. And we want to be there for you because you're always there for us. We just want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts to each and every one of you who has ever come to see us live, supported us, um, you know, supported our previous campaigns that have been very successful. We just love each and every one of you and just want to say thank you.